During the next four years, there will be many critical board decisions. One may, one may be the selection of a new school system superintendent. What will you look for in prospective candidates if faced with the need to select a new superintendent? Mr. Aquino? <laughs> it's funny, when I ran six years ago, um, there were, we, were, we were thinking about the, the need for a new superintendent. Four years ago, things changed up a bit. But I think basically what we're looking for is someone who has experience dealing with a system similar to ours. Specifically, highly diverse, pardon me, I have some notes, community oriented, uh, who has, has experience in a mid to large size school system. Um, experiences with uh, uh, superintendents from a smaller system did not seem to work out that well. I'm not suggesting that that's the only reason it didn't work. But we also need someone who's a collaborator, someone who can connect with the community, and someone who can help lead the board, into, lead the system uh, into its next phase of growth. Thank you. Mr. Walker, then Mr. Meshkin. Uh, I agree with uh, Mr. Quino. Um, because the school system is the engine that drives the county, I think it's really important for us to identify a leader who is committed to being connected to the county and who is uh, willing to understand the diversity of our county and being able to collaborate with the various groups in the county working together to build a great school system. One who's someone who's, lis who's a listener, who will listen to the needs of the, of the teachers and the, and the unions as well as the administration. One who will listen to the community. Uh, one who is a problem solver, who will always look to be better and not rest on what we did today, but look for the future. Someone who is a visionary, who can lead us into the next decade so that, as Mr. Aquino often says, uh, we don't ever want to say our schools were great, but someone who's a visionary that can lead us uh, to be the great school system in the years ahead. Thank you. Mr. Meshkin? I, I agree with what Mr. Aquino and, and Mr. Walker have said so far. Some of the areas that I would add to that include a particular <coughs> sensitivity and compassion uh, to those students who are uh, struggling. I think a sensitivity and a compassion to the families and the taxpayers who are struggling uh, during this recession I think is important. I think having a willingness to consider divergent viewpoints. There have been things that have been said about ivy tower thinking or, or that type of approach within the school system. I think an, 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 an ability to accept divergent viewpoints would be very important. I think having a decision making approach that's rooted in data and strategic thinking is important. I agree with Larry that being able to communicate with various stakeholders in our diverse community is extremely important. I'd particularly like to see someone who has experience implementing innovations because I think sometimes, as Ms. French said earlier, good can be the enemy to great. And finally, I think we need to have a dynamic with someone who has the humility to accept their accountability to the board, because the Board of uh, Education is ultimately accountable to the taxpayers. Thank you. Ms. French? A lot of people look at the degrees and the background and the teaching and the work experience. That's just the baseline. What we need to make sure is that this person really believes that every single child can succeed. There are some people who really don't believe that. And unless there is that foundation of belief, that, that belief, you cannot hold staff accountable for each child succeeding. We also need someone who's going to be open and receptive to board leadership and not be uh, passive-aggressive when hearing direction from the board. Uh, we need someone who is candid with the public um, and who is very open in leadership style. So uh, I would look for someone who seeks innovation and demands administrative and teaching accountability as well. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Valancourt and then Ms. Kornreich. Um, I, building on what um, Brian, Larry, and Frank said. The, um, all of those things are great. I would also say that we would like, I would like to see somebody who has experience in a different part of the country outside of Howard County. As wonderful as Howard County is, we, we have a tendency to be rather provincial in our thinking. The, there are school systems in this country who are doing wonderful things that are very different than the things that have been working for a long time and may have become stale in Howard County. The, um, the ability to do web-based off-site lessons from 
for kids who can't be in school for some reason or for classes that are outside of the um, individual schools. There are, there are places that are already doing that really well. There are school systems that have figured out a way for the high schools not to start at the crack of ODARC 30 and have been able to do that really well. There are a lot of things that we could learn from other school districts that are doing things very well. Thank you. Ms. Kornreich and then Mr. Ballinger. Um, actually, very close to what I was going to say. Um, just to, sort of expanding on that, someone who is, it's kind of, is an out-of-the-box thinker, someone who doesn't um, think that we have to do something the, the way we've been doing it all along just because we've been doing it that way all along. Um, and somebody who really seeks to um, find new and, and uh, innovative ways to, to solve some of the problems that we have. Um, and, and think about, uh, you know, like as, as Cindy said, look at other places in the country where, mo you know, for models of things that are successful and um, follow them. And at the same time, we as Howard County should be leading in that too. So to think about things where we can be leader, the leader in a new model of, of education. Um. Thank you. Recent studies rate the new, co oh, oh, I apologize, I apologize, I'm sorry. Mr. Ballinger. <laughs> Mr. Ballinger. I think many of us have the same ideas, but I think some key words come into my mind when we talk about a superintendent. The first one is a leader, and someone who will bring leadership to our school system and also to the county. The second thing I would look for is a partner. A partner with the school board, a partner with your community, a partner with citizen groups like CCAC for special education or a citizen advisory group for our community. Also someone who will bring vision. Because you know sometimes as I've talked about out of the box but a vision to where we want to go is the first step in taking us to where we want to be. So I think that if we have a superintendent that is a strong leader, brings a vision in which we believe in, and includes everyone in that process, we would have a great superintendent. 